Snuggle down. Close your eyes. Cozy up and relax. Wear off to the sleepiest, dreamiest corner of a very special place. The world of Mashi. Close your eyes, sleepy paws, then clear your mind. Let's drift away and see what we can find. Say hello to Sleepy Paws, a very tired koala. He lives high up in a tree house by a dreamy mashi harbor. But Sleepy Paws is restless, and he just can't get to sleep. So he's going on a journey, but he won't be counting sheep. Sleepy Paws is setting off across a fluffy meadow. It's lined with balls of cotton wool and candy-colored hedgerows. He's searching for a special place where marshlings sleep and dream. But this is not a normal world. You'd know that if you'd been. Its lakes are filled with neon soup and stardust covers mountains and mashi music spouts each hour from rainbow sherbet fountains. When darkness falls, a strange owl calls for all to go to sleep. And then the place falls silent. You cannot hear a peep. Close your eyes, sleepy paws, then clear your mind. Let's drift away and see what we can find. Twilight is calm. Sleepy Paws is floating now through fields of whispering grass. His eyes are feeling heavy. There's a question he must ask. The place he seeks is said to lie beyond a haze of pink. So he's going to ask the moshlings he encounters what they think. I'm looking for a sleepy place, he tells a mystic Moggy. It's over there, but do take care. It's getting pretty foggy. Just then, a dinky dream cloud glides slowly into view. And Sleepy Paws hears rumbling. A storm's about to brew. Lilac rain begins to fall and glowing puddles form. But Sleepy Paws keeps wandering. The raindrops feel so warm. He asks the dinky dream cloud, Can you show me the way? Follow me, the cloud replies. You've had a busy day. Close your eyes, sleepy paws, then clear your mind. Let's drift away and see what we can find. Raindrops are falling, I sequins in streams. Tinkling sweet melodies into Sleepy Paws is yawning now. 
He's by a starlit lake. A boat arrives. He rubs his eyes. He can barely stay awake. The boat is crewed by marshlings. They collect him from the shore. As lapping waves make soothing sounds, the stars begin to snore. Swaying on the moonlit water, Sleepy Paws is drifting. The boat is bobbing up and down. Pink mist is slowly lifting. A jungle island lies ahead, and distant drums are calling. Is this the place where marshlings sleep? The boat is slowing, crawling. A songful seahorse captain looks into Sleepy's eyes. We'll need to sing to move this thing. It's fueled by lullabies. And then the crew begin to hum a melody of bliss. The tune is quite familiar, and it sounds a bit like this. Close your eyes, sleepy paws, then clear your mind. Let's drift away and see what we can find. Waves lap the shoreline as tide marshes sing. Boats sailing slowly this way. Sleepy Paws is back on land. He's on a jungle path. As crickets chirp their midnight song and distant monkeys laugh, a tribe of friendly hoodoos point towards a lush lagoon. And Sleepy Paws keeps walking beneath the silvery moon. Is this the place where marshlings sleep? He asks a passing bunny. Perhaps, replies the rabbit, who whispers something funny. Maybe you're already dreaming. Did you think of that? Then the bunny vanishes inside its bowler hat. By the water, Sleepy Paws counts seven weeping willows. And by the tallest lies a pile of very squishy pillows. Take one of these, a sapling says, then points towards a hollow. Just step inside and climb the stairs, and sleep will surely follow. Close your eyes, sleep. Sleepy Paws is in a tree. He's climbing spiral stairs. And at the top, a silly snuffler's handing out cute bears. Sleepy Paws nods in thanks and takes a cuddly teddy. And then a pluff in pink pajamas says, Your nest is ready. Walking on a branch, he sees a sea of twinkling stars as glowing fireflies flitter round in empty pickle jars. Staring at the Moshiverse, the world feels like it's slowing. And then he flops into a nest that's gently to and froing. He yawns and starts to curl up when a friendly owl swoops by. It's carrying a basket through the dusky starlit sky. Climb aboard, 
the owl coos. I'm your valet for the night. Just snuggle in my gondola and please enjoy your flight. Close your eyes, sleepy paws, then clear your mind. Let's drift away and see what we can find. Fly over treetops through velvety skies. Staring above as the stars mesmerize. Sleepy paws is almost at. The place he wants to be. He's cozying in the basket as it lands upon a tree. Night, night, sleepy, says the owl, its face lit by the moon. You've reached your destination, but I'm sure I'll see you soon. Fast asleep now. Sleepy paws is dreaming of his trip, of strange enchanted jungles and that music-powered ship. He can't remember everything, so maybe he was dreaming, but in his paw he's holding something small and round and gleaming. It's a little piece of stardust, a nighttime souvenir, it starts to fade in Sleepy's paw that slowly disappears. Is this what dreams are made of wherever you may roam? Cause Sleepy Paws is back in bed inside his treehouse home. Good night, Sleepy Paws. Good night. Hello, snuggle down, close your eyes, cozy up, and relax. Tonight, we're journeying along an enchanted moonlit river with Yornsey, an adorable 
adorable little moshling otter who just can't stop yawning. is a little otter, famous for his yawn. <sighs> he loves to drift upon his raft, from twilight through to dawn. His raft is made from logs and twigs found washed up on the shore. And when Yonzi stretches out on them, they always make him snore. Tonight, our little otter friend is going for a cruise. The creek that cuts through Nutmeg Nooks, the perfect place to snooze. Yawnsy's getting ready. In the cave he calls his home. And though the cave is hidden, he is never on his own. Glimmering Glowfish flit around the pools between the rocks, and fireflies nap in jam jars hung from stalactites with socks. Yonzi steps onto his raft and bids his friends good night and heads off through a waterfall into the pale moonlight. Magic yawn sends all who hear or see it straight to sleep. It's almost instantaneous and not like counting sheep. 
As crickets chirp their twilight tunes, and night begins to fall, Yonzi hears an owl swoop past and hoot its gentle call. Look, it's Professor Feather Snooze, a very wise old bird. Oh, to think a yawn could make him sleep is really quite absurd. But sure enough, when Yawnsy yawns, the wise owl stops to rest. And by the time the yawning's stopped, he's dozing in his nest. Yawnsy smiles and grabs some blossom from a weeping willow. Then puts it in a little pouch to make his pal a pillow. It's getting late, and Yawnsy's now as sleepy as can be. <sighs> but then he spots a burrow, just beneath a gooberry tree. A bedtime bunny wanders out. It's Nodkins, Yonzi's friend. She's foraging for fluffles by the river's curviest bend. As Yonzi's raft drifts slowly by, he yawns and waves hello, and Notkins can't help yawning back and going with the flow. She snuggles by the riverbank. It's time for forty winks. While Yawnsy wonders if his yawns a blessing or a jinx. Rocking gently to and fro. Things start to get quite dreamy as shooting stars leave trails like strands of sparkling fettuccine. The moon is gleaming up above. The river starts to shimmer. 
and rainbow frogs sing lullabies. While silvery moonbeams glimmer. Can't stop yawning now. Ugh, his raft is barely moving. The sound the lapping water makes is wonderfully soothing. Multicolored wisps of mist. Envelop Yonzi's raft. As lilac reeds sway gently in the fragrant twilight draft. Yonzi thinks he's dreaming. When he sees a friendly chap, it's Sleepy Paws, his koala friend, about to have a nap. He's curled up by a tree stump. In a patch of turquoise lawn, but when Yonzi tries to greet his pal, he cannot help but yawn. Sleepy paws pandiculates. Do you know what that means? Why, it's when you stretch and yawn before you drift into a dream. As Yonzi passes. Sleepy Paws is sleeping like a log, and as he snores, the multicolored mist becomes a fog. The fog surrounding Yonzi's raft now lifts and disappears, and warming moshy rain descends like gentle cleansing tears. Yonzi must be dreaming now, 'cause as the world drifts by, he sees all kinds of wondrous things appearing in the sky. 
kaleidoscopic, silly snufflers. Canter in mid-air. As a dinky dream cloud morphs into a fluffy teddy bear. Meteors made from honeycomb spin slowly round the moon. And stars form on celestial staves to play a sleepy tune. Distant mountains melt, then rise as raindrops gleam like jewels. While glitter pillars make their way round newly formed rock pools. Yawnsy yawns, <sighs> then yawns again, transfixed by what he sees. As his little raft drifts slowly towards a cave obscured by trees. The entrance to this hidden caves behind a waterfall. The water flows from up above, but makes no sound at all. And just as Yonzi's raft draws near, the waterfall stops flowing, and Yonzi drifts into the cave, a grotto gently glowing. The little raft comes to a stop beside a stalagmite. But Yonzi doesn't stir at all. He's had a busy night. A glowfish breaks the water's surface with a plopping sound, which rouses Yonzi slightly, but he still seems quite spellbound. He sleepwalks off the raft towards a bed of twigs and reeds. A good night sleeps exactly what this little otter needs. once more and snuggles down content 
but not alone. Cause Yornsey's rafts returned him to the place he knows as home. Good night. Drifting
or jump on flying unicorns to fly from place to place. But wouldn't it be great if you could visit others' dreams? To check out what they dream about and see where they have been. Well, there's a little Moshley who can do that any time. Especially when it's twilight and the moon begins to shine. Her name is Notkins. Very cute and normal as can be. She lives inside a burrow right beside a willow tree. But unlike other bedtime bunnies, Notkins has a skill to see in other moshlings' dreams and hop in them at will. Dream hopping, dream hopping, dream hopping with me. Quite exciting, jumping into someone else's dream. A bit like surfing channels, but without the TV screen. And every night at bedtime, Nodkins goes on an adventure. By thinking of the Moshling's name, whose dream she'd like to enter. Tonight, she starts with Tiki, cause his dreams are always fun. They usually take place on islands, bathed in golden sun. She concentrates, then suddenly, she boings onto a beach, where Tiki's playing croquet with a giant fuzzy peach. Several minutes later, Nodkins hops out of the dream, deciding that she'd like to try a different moshy scene. She thinks of Mr. Snoodle and starts whispering his name. Then boings aboard a carriage on his sleepy twilight train. Dream hoppy, dream hoppy, dream hop with me. Traveling in a snoodly dream is mellow, calm, and soothing. But then the train falls silent, as if no longer moving. Nodkins looks outside and sees they're soaring through the skies. Past giant cups of herbal tea, and pumpernickel pies. Following her flight on board this dreamy flying train, Nodkins now decides it's time to dream hop once again. She thinks of Uncle Scallops and boings into his dream and sees he's gently snoozing in his mellow submarine. Next she visits Captain Squirk, who 
who dreams of cosmic sheep. And seen as he lives in space, they never bar, they beep. Boinging in, she watches space sheep orbiting a planet. Or maybe it's a little moon or giant pomegranate. Dream happy, dream happy, dream happy with me. These moshy dreams is really quite surreal. And Nodkins really loves it, cause the things she sees aren't real. But sometimes, every now and then, she likes to intervene, especially when her actions help to shape a moshling's dream. Tonight, the dream she's meddling in belongs to Marshall Ned. A panto pony moshling who's a proper sleepy head. The dream he's having right now is as random as can be. He's ironing his trousers on a surfboard in the sea. Ned looks rather troubled as the seas just turn to sky. And now he's stranded on a cloud. And ponies cannot fly. So Nodkins gets a trampoline and shouts for Ned to leap. Which Ned does in an instant. Though he's really sound asleep. Dream happy, dream happy, dream happy with me. Panto Pony, Nodkin starts to ponder. I wonder what would happen if my mind was left to wander. She tries to think of nothingness and empty out her mind. But all she sees are moshling dreams of each and every kind. First, she sees a forest filled with shoes and melting clocks where wumples play on chessboards wearing massive woolly socks. Next, she visits Waldo's dream, a tabby nerdy cat who's cycling on a rainbow wearing nothing but a hat. tries once more to concentrate on nothing much at all, but hops into a mermaid on a giant glitter ball. She looks above and notices a duck on a trapeze and wonders if these moshlings have been eating too much cheese. Dream happy, dream happy, dream happy with me. night can 
continues. Notkins hops from dream to dream. Some are crazy. Some are mellow. Some are quite extreme. She dream hops on a nightly basis just to have a peep. And even though she dozes off, She's never quite asleep. Perhaps this might explain why Nodkins always feels so weary. She needs to have her own sweet dreams. Well, that's the general theory. So snuggling in her blanket, she whispers her own name. Then finds herself in Nutmeg Nook, beside a winding lane. Wandering past a willow tree, she sees a bedtime bunny. She looks familiar, Notkin says. I think that's me. How funny. Then finally, it dawns on her. My own dreams are the best. So she boings off with her dreamy friend to have a good night's rest. Goodbye and sweet dreams.
Hello. Tonight we're soaring up into the moonlit skies to hear all about the twilight twit woos of Professor Feathersnooze, a very special Owl of Nod. So snuggle down, cosy up, close your eyes and relax. Sings a sleep song 
like Professor Feather Snoops. As twilight falls and crickets call, the prof prepares his things. But first of all, he needs to choose which twit twos to sing. See, when you hear an owl at night, its calls aren't off the cuff. It gets them from an ancient book of sleepy, owlish stuff. The prof walks from his snuggly nest along a knobbly branch. And as he does, he gives the world above a little glance. The stars are twinkling in the sky. The shimmering moons are crescent. And tiny fireflies flit around their blurry wings fluorescent. The professor's going to check his book of songs and learn some more. Tonight he'll try a lullaby that's sure to make him snore. The book is in his study. Inside the tree's huge trunk it's scattered with his brainy books, but mostly crammed with junk. Professors gently pecking at the tree trunk's lilac bark. It's hard to make out, even though most owls see in the dark. He pecks a secret button that ignites a scented candle, which illuminates his front door and its little acorn handle. Shuffling inside the tree, the prof climbs on a shelf. It's filled with rows of dusty books and a photo of himself. It shows the day he flew away from Moshi Versity with a doctorate in snoozing and a Snuffle Peeps degree. Flicking through his owl songbook, he finds a brand new tune. A hoot 
haunting twit twoo classic called Owling Round the Moon. The professor quickly learns the song and hoots its melody, then waddles back outside and takes off from his towering tree. Soaring through the moshy skies, the professor hoots and coos. His latest song makes all who hear it snuggle up and snooze. Swooping down on Bliskis Valley, then past poor Bree Fields. It's really quite amazing. The result is hooting yield. A silly snuffler falls asleep while plumping up his pillow. And then a bunny dozes off beneath a whispering willow. Moshlings all across the land are lulled into sweet dreams as tuneful, owlish night song dances gently on moonbeams. Dainty deer and wandering wumples cuddle up together. They wish the prof could hoot his twilight call to them forever. But now, Professor Feathersnooze is heading towards cloud nine. It's where he flies each evening just before his own bedtime. The puff of squish they call Cloud Nine is deeply mesmerizing. And owls of Nod who come here say it's oddly hypnotizing. The professor flaps towards the cloud, then gently touches down and is greeted by a moshling in a fluffy dressing gown. The moshling is a cuddly wibble, mellow, warm and kind. His job's to help all passing owls of Nod, chill and unwind. 
Because even though the good professor helps the world relax, he sometimes finds his nightly journey messes with his naps. See all that twit wooing makes it rather hard to settle. And Cloud Nine is the only place to find a soothing nettle. The nettle's called a bobo cup. You make it into tea. And if you're passing late at night, they give out cups for free. of where he's been tonight, the places he has flown. It seems the tune he cooed this evening really did the trick. Cause all the moshlings down below fell sound asleep and quick, gliding over nutmeg nook and passing wobbly wood. Sleepy owl swoops down towards a distant neighborhood, judging by the twinkling lights. His song has not been heard, so he twit twoos his call once more. He's such a thoughtful bird, the entire world is silent now. All moshlings are asleep, and as the prof lands on his nest, you cannot hear a peep. He snuggles down and shuts his eyes to dream of new twit twoos. Good night to you, old sleepy head, Professor Feather Snails.
Thank you.